Hello everybody and welcome again to Cooking with Aunt Rita. Today we have Mr. J, which is one of our family friends, and he's going to be cooking stew chicken in the Louisiana way with us. Take it all away, well, I have my secret recipe, which is always the best. Everybody loves it. Everybody sit down and they eat it. You don't have a cooking board. There is Mr. J cutting the chicken into pieces. That's a whole chicken. Okay, you can stop that recording now. So this is a nice piece. It's nice and soft. When you eat it, you have less bone. You know? And then this right here, it's a good piece, so because the marrow is soft, so you could easily cut it like this in half if you want it stew. That's good. Okay, Thank you. That's good. All right. Okay. These are the ingredients that we are going to be needed for the stew chicken: chicken, onions, garlic, achote. Oregano, vinegar, and some pepper. Mr. Jason is going to show you how to put it all together. Okay. First, you start with your um, paprika. Or no, the paprika or the um, ricardo. We call it ricardo. You mash it up simply like this so you can have that island flavor. Okay. And once you do that, you put in your twist and turn so the chicken can have that red season. So when you cook it, you got that beauty look, right? Mm -hmm. And then you put in your little flavor. Tell them what that flavor is. This is one of my secret flavor, okay? Now, we got a lemon juice. That's the best. And you put it in. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. You stir it up. You see how pretty the chicken is looking. And once you do that, you let it sit. We have the onion and the garlic. The onion and the garlic makes everything looks wonderful and taste tasteful. You let it spread over it. And don't forget the black pepper. You let that go and let it sit for a few minutes. You don't want to make it too spicy now, unless you're making curry chicken, and we we does that also. But there is um, someone who does it, curry chicken, and be good. Let it yeah. sit, cover it up, and let it marinate. Everything been marinated for about an hour now. And you could smell the flavor, you could even taste the taste. So we'll put the chicken in high heat first. You can have to hear the top whistle. You put them in piece by piece. So you burn the chicken first. Yeah. But I always make sure you wash your hands because that's where the cup comes from first. And I will show you the next chicken mix. This is 
Chef J. Boy, oh, beat me. It's no out over Louisiana, Belize, Jamaica, and Trinidad. Everybody knows. So you can get us on the internet. Approximately an hour so the chicken can be nice and